gift of salvation. But then they think, oh no, um, I sinned last night, now I'm not going to go to heaven. A lot of preachers preach that, okay, unless you repent of your sin, and, and they think repent means stop doing it and never do it again, where repent means change around, change your thinking. Um, anyway, um, they believe that um, unless you repent, you're going to go to hell. Now, you know, you got to stop doing what you're doing and all that. Well, the Word of God says that we're saved by grace through faith in Jesus. It's not of our own works that we can boast. In other words, we're not saved because of what we, by doing right things or by not doing wrong things and not sinning. We're saved because Jesus loved us so much that he paid the price for our sins, took all God's wrath, anger, and judgment for our sin on his body on the cross and all the punishment we deserved on the cross. He went to hell for us, what we deserve. Um, and because he did all that, then when we receive Jesus as our Lord and our Savior, we receive that free gift of him taking our place and getting our punishment, our wrath, our judgment, and our condemnation we deserve. So it's a free gift. It's something that uh, we haven't earned. But then people turn around and say, come to the altar. You know, you sinned last night. You sinned yesterday. You did whatever. Okay, now come to the altar and sin because you don't want to miss the rapture. Well, you're not going to miss the rapture because you sin. You're going to miss the rapture because you haven't got Jesus in your heart. And when you ask Jesus to be the Lord, your Lord, and you give him your life, you're saved forever. You know, um, it's not today you're born again, tomorrow you're not born, tomorrow you're born again, again, and you're born again, 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 and now you're not born, so you're born again, and you go, now you're saved, you're not saved, you're saved, you're not saved, you're saved, you're not saved. It's not like that, it's eternal security. It's, you're saved by grace. You can't get saved by what you do or don't do, and you can't get unsaved by what you do and you don't do. You're just going to go to hell, um, you're just going to go to um, heaven a whole lot faster. You're going to have sickness, disease, poverty, lack, and fear if you're always sinning because you reap what you sow and that's uh, sowing to the flesh and the flesh, and the flesh is death when you sow to the flesh and the lust of the flesh. So you don't you don't want to do that. You don't want to sin. You want to repent. Uh, change your mind and think differently. Um, so grace, what I'm coming to and what I'm saying in all this is grace is love with no strings attached. Isn't that awesome? Grace is love with no strings attached. In other words, everything God did for you is not because you earned it. It's because He loved you so much and He gave it to you. Salvation, continued salvation, uh, healing, health, prosperity, power, dominion, authority, ruling as a king, and all that He gave to you staying saved. It's by His grace and His works. Because grace is love without strings. So, I hope that really, really helps. I'm 